Hello, so today I would like to talk about OCD. The question I ask myself is, do I have OCD? I personally would not think so, but a friend of mine just told me that she thinks I have OCD. So I'll tell you how this happened. Yesterday we went to see Eldor Island, it's a band, da, 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 da. they were playing some music. Then, in the toilet downstairs, I uh, we went to the toilet and I washed my hands and then I opened the toilet with my elbow. And she's like, you don't touch the door handles and I said, no, I don't touch door handles. And then she said, you might have a little bit of OCD here. If you are on the toilet and some other people are on the toilet because it's obviously a public toilet. So other people go on the toilet, they do whatever they do in the cubicle, they come out, they don't wash their hands because there are people that don't wash their hands after they go to the toilet. And then with their unwashed hands, they do the door handle, you know? And then I come with my washed hand, then I touch the door handle with Isabella's poo on it. I don't even know who Isabella is, you know? I touch my face, you know, I touch other people. That's what you do when you go out. You touch other people, you touch yourself. And then suddenly I touch my eye and then I have Isabella's poo in my eye. Can you imagine when people say like, oh, you have something in your eye? Yeah, that's Isabella's poo. That's why you don't touch door handles. Also what I don't do when I am, um, you know, at the street sometimes when you cross the light, there is a button that you can press that the light comes on faster. So what I do, I never do it with this finger. I always do it with my little finger. I do like this one or with my thumb. Maybe a thumb is also not so good or like here with this one. I push it like here because I tell you, because the ring finger is the is this the ring finger? No, this is the ring finger. What is this finger called? Uh, the pointer finger? Pointer finger? I never learned finger lessons in school actually. What is middle finger, ring finger, little finger, thumb? What do you, is this the pointer finger? What do I even Google finger names? Siri, uh, tell me some finger names. That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. The second finger. Oh, Jesus. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, forget it. Okay. Okay, I Google it myself. Siri, go home. Ah. Searching Google for it myself, Siri, go home. <laughs> She's crazy. Pointer finger, pointer finger, index finger. I index finger. I had known it. I recognize there is another thing that I don't do. For example, what I really what I really don't like is if people come to the flat and don't take off their shoes. Because it will all make sense. No, wait. So basically, and then, because the shoes are for outdoors and when they are in a house, they should wear house shoes or flat shoes. If you, for example, go to the toilet and I have carpets in the bathroom and my carpets are clean because they're in the bathroom and they are bathroom carpets and they are nice when they are clean, right? And when somebody with outdoor shoes comes to my toilet and touches my carpet with the outdoor shoes where they just have been to the park where dogs walked and they peed and pooed, you know, on the shoe sole, there is now the dog poo and pee, right? The people, they have the dog pee poo on their shoe soles. That goes on the carpet in the little carpet fairies. I take a shower, I wash my feet, I wash them really well, I step out of the shower, step with my feet, with my freshly washed feet, washed feet, in the dog poo. I have friends who are from Asia and we have to all take the shoes off when we visit them and it's okay because they are from Asia and why is it not okay to take it off here because I am not from Asia but I like it too, you know, and just because Asian people know that there could be dog poo in the carpet. I do know that too. So the cure is that you that you roll yourself in disgust and um, kind of like not react to it. But that's the same with cure of spiders. You know, I don't want to touch a spider. I'd rather be scared of spiders instead of being cured of them. You know, I don't understand these cues are silly. I think I don't I don't approve. I don't think you should face your fear. I think you should have your fear. It's good and it's healthy and it saves your life sometimes, so it's okay. So I'm doing a test now. They have a test online, actually. Do you worry about losing something valuable? 
Yes, because I always lose something valuable. Do you need to touch objects or people? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely yes here. Do you collect useless objects? Probably OCD to a certain extent is okay and quite good if it saves your life. And I think it is good to rather check if you turned out the hair straightener three times than none time. And if you do it 10 times, then probably just pack the hair straightener in your bag. That's what I do. I go out with the hair straightener because then I'm sure it's not on. Mm -hmm.